I made this video where Vikings descendants of Central Asians and it was based on a DNA study that wasn't done by me, it was done by somebody else, which I found fascinating and I shared that info. Many of you guys found it fascinating, interesting, and it spurred a lot of conversation and discussion. One of my viewers sent me this article, which kind of ties into this topic. So she sent me this link. It's from 2006, an article in Danish. And here it is for those of you who need solid proof of what I'm sharing. Here it is in Danish, parts of it. And then I translated it on Google Translate. I'm going to read some of it for you and show you this article. And you can pause it to read it because it's, I don't think I'll have time to read all of it. We come from Afghanistan. The Danish archaeologist Soren Nanke Kro is on his way with groundbreaking research based on the few but spectacular finds that escaped the researchers before the robber gangs took over Afghanistan's excavations. So you can pause to read the rest, but here, Danish ancestors came here on horseback all the way from the mountains of northern Afghanistan. And for those of you who will say Afghanistan didn't exist, he's referring to present day Afghanistan, the land. So here's more of it, pause to read. And he says that research indicates that Northern Afghanistan is home to the world's oldest equestrian people who traveled thousands of miles around the world on horseback and traveled as far as the Silk Road to China and North to Scandinavia, which I had said in my previous video. The first really systematic excavation started quite a short time before the Russian invasion, and since then the area has been largely ravaged by war. So for skeptics who say that there's not enough evidence that this is true, keep in mind that archaeological excavations in Afghanistan happened primarily between the 50s and 70s, but due to war, it has stopped. So there's a lot that we still don't know. So Crow is an expert in the Danish Viking Age and Bronze Age, and he has combined the five new Afghan finds with Danish discoveries that shows the connection. Pause to read. The oriental fittings with a special style from the North Afghan area have been found in many Viking sites all the way up to Iceland. With a skeleton find means that we can now say that artisans from Afghanistan have come all the way and have worked among the Vikings. And this is also something that I said in my previous video, that the similarities in styles of art, such as animal images, became pervasive. Pause to read this part. And this part. So I thought you guys would find it as interesting as I did and that it ties into that video, which a lot of you guys thought I made up the information. Well, here's another article to back that up. And keep in mind, there's a lot about the land of Afghanistan that we are still learning about.